All right, let's go. This is the third match of the Grand Finals of the Elite Classic. This time, Marine Lord playing with the Delhi Sultanate in the color of pink against Papi Pao, who's playing the Byzantines in the color blue. This is, I think, I believe this is the Lipani or EGC Lipani. I don't, I don't know which one of those it is, but it's a very interesting map. I, like, it has some heals here. Like has some, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of food also, actually, and there's also a lot of berries, which is very good for boss civilizations. Uh, Papo has been a really good player playing the, the Byzantines lately. I'm curious to see how this plays this out. Uh, last time I saw him, he, he got really like, uh, there you go, the, the early olive groves. Uh, just because uh, when you finish this very patch, I think you cannot get like a second batch of mercenaries. And with this, basically guarantees you that you're gonna get that second patch of mercenaries early on. And I think that's great. I think that's great. And probably he's just gonna put the the grind winery here. I'm gonna have a great time getting that olive oil. You know, meanwhile, the, uh, the Delhi Sultanate, you know, I don't think Marie Lord is gonna try anything new here. He's just gonna mass units, capture the sacred sites, put a lot of pressure and, you know, just go for it. I, I think that's what he's he's going to do. And and yeah, it will be very interesting to see Byzantines in this situation where the Delhi is just pushing a lot, uh, but the Byzantine is also, uh, they, they are also very well known for having a lot of military, like because they have the mercenary houses, they have, the, you know, the the Golden Horn Tower, which I, I don't, I don't know if we will see it or not, but if he does, like it's gonna, it's gonna be great for him uh, to see how, how he handles this daily pressure, which is uh, insane, insane amount of pressure, very early on. It's like Marine Lord, uh, looking a little bit of foot to H up. It's gonna be able to do that soon. So it's gonna be the grind winery, just uh, just like we predicted here, next to, next to the olive groups. You know, have some enough space for some olive groups here. Get those berry patches, and you are, we are you are in a really good spot, actually, a uh, very very good spot at the moment. And well, marine lord, as we predicted before, it's gonna be the tower of victory here. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna see some aggression coming for for both players. Uh, let me know how how are you enjoying these tournaments. Uh, are, do you usually like, like? There are many many people who are casting these tournaments. Of course, I want to cast them as well because I, I like watching them. Let me know what you think about it. And also, if you are enjoying this video, if you have watched so far, probably you like Age of Empires 4. If you do, you can leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Like Papi Pao moving to the wood already. I already have a second patch of olive groves here. It kind of reminds me of the English where they open it up with a couple of farms just because they are cheaper and it makes sense for them because th their gathering rate is faster on the farms with a meal. But we see a very early on olive groves here, which is really interesting. I've never seen before. And that's the cool thing of watching these tournaments. And another reason I'm casting them is because I, I, these players don't usually show up. Like they, they only practice uh, in the shadows, you know, uh, because they don't want to show their their strategies to other people. And you know, it's respectable. I, I think uh, I think as a pro player, I think you will get much more benefits if you go public and share more. Uh, but, uh, you know, to each its own, and for me, it's really refreshing to see this, like, this early farm transition here happening for Papi Pao. We have a lot of olive oil going on for him. Meanwhile, Delhi, already a up. Let's see which kind of units uh, he will go for at the beginning. He doesn't have the wood yet to create a stable. There you go. It's gonna be the Cassie Raiders. Now we will see with Papi Pao the classic combination of 
Limitane. Uh, there you go, Limitane. And Javelin Throwers. Probably. Uh, it's it's one of one of the best combos you can have out there. Limitane, uh, very tanky when they activate their skill, where they can just tank more range attack, range damage, and uh, the javelin throwers just, you know, they attack from distance. They're a really good unit overall. So yeah, it's gonna be Limitane. Archer range also going out for Papipa, sending those scholars there. To capture those sacred sites, I believe should be having sanctity very, very soon. Uh, never mind, the scholar went here to the archer range. Gonna pump up those those archers every eight seconds. That, that's why Delhi is so scary in the field age. They can get those units out really fast. So you really need to de deny that for the, from them. More archers coming for Marine Lord. He, I, I told you, he, he's an archer lover. Like, he loves playing with archers in the Fiddle Age. It's, uh, uh, no matter what, like, he goes archers. Like, it, he's an archer lover, and I've seen him mass, like, uh, I'm not lying to you, like, almost 100 archers in the Fiddle Age. That's how, how much of a believer on the Archer philosophy that this guy is. And it's gonna be the javelin throwers, no, the guys who's gonna be out from the mercenary house. I already have some limitane out there to go with the Gassi Raiders. Not gonna be able to, to get any villager killed, but those villagers will be sent to gather some sheep now. Nice job by Marine Lord, just pushing away those villagers to reduce the income per minute for his opponent. Ang Sanctity, it's already there. Looks like he will send some scholars here. I already have two on the way. I already have some units, which makes sense. Put the units here on the production buildings first. And after you have Sanctity, you send those scholars to capture the sacred sites where you already have some infantry to defend and four javelin throwers are already there for Papipa. it's gonna be playing very defensively I'm gonna put a, a wall here and a tower actually looks like byzantines will want to go for the castle age i have a feeling like he's gonna get enough units to to defend and then they're gonna go castle because because that's where they shine or you know it, Get the golden horn tower you get all those uh, upgrades you you get more better economy from your system most likely you you will also have uh, you know more cisterns in place by that time and it, it's just such a strong civilization when when it comes to the late game so it looks like he he will be he will be very defensive for the moment and Definitely, that will mean that, like, most likely he will go Castle Age. I, we never know for sure, but, you know, as how, depending on how things turn, like, Mar Marine Lord can go Castle himself, or depending on if he has enough units to kill his opponent, he may go for it. But we are about to see. This second side is being captured in the middle, looks like. Marine Lord already sent some units here. Units in the stealth forest. He managed to escape. Plus one range attack coming for Poppy Pal. No blacksmith upgrades yet for Marine Lord. He's only on one black, two blacksmiths actually. So he's gonna definitely. That's a sign that he's gonna stay in the field age for a little longer. I have those those upgrades coming simultaneously. Walls coming here. It's like a, it's like the archer died here. So walls not gonna be get completed. Secret type decapture here. Papi Pao doing a really good job at decapping the, those secret sites. Just to be annoying, you know. 
And when these walls are finished, it's just gonna be easier for you. Well, Papi Pop already halfway there to go Castle H. You just don't need to lose his army. That's all. That's all he needs. If you lose your army when you go Castle, you are dead. But if you have your army still, and then you still have a chance to, you know, that, to get away with going Castle, like. He, because a naked fast castle is really dangerous, especially against the Delhi. Looks like Secret Side won't be captured here, but it will be on the east side of the map, and this one is gonna be a little bit tougher to decap. Walls are already there. You got more units coming for Papi Pao. Still pumping more units. Three archery ranges. Only one stable. Archer numbers still increasing for Marine Lord. At the same time, Papi Pao, it's aging up with a Golden Horn Tower here with 14 villagers. It's, uh, in a little bit of a rush here. As soon as you get this, you're gonna get your, you know, your veteran mercenary contracts. Which uh, is pretty funny because he he actually didn't age up with with a. With the food villagers, he ages up with the gold villagers. So when he ages up, he won't have gold for the for the upgrades. But you know, anyway, uh, let, let's see how he handles this, and let's see what's the reaction from Marine Lord as soon as he hits Castle Age, because looks like he's not very far away for going Castle Age himself. It's actually have enough, almost having an, enough gold. Is he, is he mining gold? No, it's not mining gold. He, no, he is mining gold. I don't know where, but he's mining gold. Or not. Yeah, he, he is. And Papi Power will reach the castle age. At the same time, compound of the defender coming for Marine Lord. It's gonna grab have those villagers fortresses. Gonna be taking control of the map little by little with those keeps. Now with Papi Power on the castle age. Alex, it's like he's he's going for it. That's a, that's a lot of limitani. Twenty six of them. So you don't really want to create that many gassy raiders. And I think Marine Lord did the right choice. Like he didn't spam those gassy raiders like heavily. Sharp, very foot heavy. So that that's also one thing that allowed him to go castle age that that fast. Is that he knows his opponent is long limitani and javelin throwers. So you just go archers, you know. Just more archers will will do the job for now. Crossbows also there for Marine Lord. Arangan guards also there for Papi Pao. It's getting all those upgrades for free. Here, uh, remember that the Delhi get those upgrades for free when they're uh, the only civilization that can get upgrades for free, but they research at a slower rate. And Marine Lord already positioned all those three scholars with the relics to be able to get those relics. This relic is going back home. It's likely this is already in favor of Marine Lord. It's like Papi Pao will have one relic for himself. It looks like Papi Pao already with the veteran C upgrades. Plus two range armor coming for him soon. It's gonna start torching the production buildings of Marine Lord. Marine Lord still needs some time to get better an archer, so... And this is kind of a tricky situation because he doesn't know if you really want to fight now. Like, you don't really want to fight without the upgrades, but you kind of know... Ha you don't have much choice here. The good thing is he still has a lot of archers. Like, these archers are gonna do a lot of damage here. Meanwhile, some units trying to dig up the sacred site. It looks like Marine Lord cleaned this up. Limit on 8 numbers decreased to only 9. Even without the upgrades, that just shows you how important it is to have the right counter unit. He's also having some mana arms for himself, so that definitely helped. Uh, 
there. Come on, try to wall up here. I think they can get it. I think they will get out in time, but... It's likely this scholar won't get back home. Decides to leave the relic and run. I actually have some mana arms here, so... Looks like he's gonna be able to grab the relic. More units coming here. Marine Lord already sitting with three relics. It's likely he wants to get this one. It looks like we have the classic monk race. It looks like Papipa got it first. Is Marine Lord gonna attack the, the monk here? I think he, he, he's gonna do that. And at the same time, Gassi Raiders doing what they do best. Raid, never mind. These villagers, do you not mess up with those ones? They are they're Ak Ritoi, increased armor and damage. These are tanky boys, man. You, you don't want to mess with Byzantine villagers. Single mana at arms here, causing some chaos, denying the deer for Marine Lord. Talking about the food resources, still plenty of food in the map so I think we will start seeing Marine Lord just pumping more and more units we don't need to go for that farm transition yet same as Papi Paul let's take a look at his base Cistern level 3 already definitely feeling good about this early farm transition And the sacred site. I'm gonna try to be the capture here. It looks like Poppy Boy is sending another monk here. It looks like Poppy Boy will be able to get this relic for himself. Uh, that's a lot of javelin throwers. Secret site being the capture here. It looks like Marine Lord will give up this relic to Poppy Paw. Well, he's still massing man at arms and crossbows. His opponent, Papi Pao. Also, man at arms. Well, he already has 27 of them. And javelin throwers. Papi Pao's army is starting to look scary. And that cistern level, like, only level 3 is still. It helps a lot to pump those units. Only 20, 25 seconds for a Varangian guard. And now Papi Pao is on the base again. Let's take down some villagers here. Siege workshop there for Papi for Marine Lord. Gonna get that mangonel out. Exactly what he needs. With the scholar inside. Should be able to deal with this as long as the mangonel is alive. If that mangonel is is dead, probably Marine Lord also lose the match. And the Magonel goes out. Immediately needs to deploy. Decent shot at those javelin throwers. Crossbows surrounding the Magonel. Not allowing Papi Pao to get any close to it. And Marine Lord with an incredible defense here. Just taking out just a single Magonel. Save him from this mega push that Papi Pao wanted to do here. Well, amazing defense, amazing defense. I keep already here. Village fortresses are really research, so Marine Lord's gonna start pumping those villagers. This is where it starts getting scary. Papi Pao going for a raid here with those camera riders. It's like Marine Lord. Notice them. Has vision all over the place here. Another keep here. Protecting that food resource in the back. As well as the gold. And Marine... Uh, Papi Pao goes for it again. 74 military. I mean, this guy is a guy who cannot stop. Or he have one sprinkle for himself. 
Most likely, Marine Lord will anticipate it, create another Springle. But at this point, it starts getting really scary to fight against the Byzantines. Like, you have a little timer here, because Marine Lord is on technically three town centers at the moment. And you can, you can already start to see the villager count difference starting to get noticeable. And the longer the game goes, it's just going to be harder for Papiva to catch up with the economy department. So, not only that, but those keeps will just make it really hard for Papiva to just push into any other kind of resource from Marine Lord. Magonel's shot managed to get a decent shot here. Meanwhile, more mana arms, more crossbows from Marine Lord. Burning oil also coming for him. Plus one melee armor coming for Papi Pot just yet. Springle also there for Marine Lord. Another Mangonel just in case. And looks like the crossbows will do God's job here in the back, attacking those Varangian guards. But Papi Pot numbers are really looking really good. Springles tried to take down that Mangonel, but he managed to retreat it on time. No Springles for Marine Lord. He's creating one now. Numbers looking good for Papipa. There are a lot of javelin throwers taking down those villagers. So far, 16 villager kills here. workshop not producing anything at the moment he doesn't have the wood for another mangonel he needs to take down those springles and that's exactly what he does he sends all those villagers to attack the siege take, takes down those springles and now marine lord can take his mangonel safety at the same time Kedosi from burning the keep here. And as well to keep burning the units with burning oil. It's like Papi Boy just continue sending units. Let's take a look at his sister in level, level 5. Look at only 13 seconds to get a Barangian guard. His unit production is gotta be crazy at the moment. A single ram just burning the whole keep. Papipa pumping more and more units. Javelin throwers doing a decent job against those man at arms. Magonel shots. Fails the shot here. Didn't manage to connect with those javelin throwers. Well, more mana arms coming here. Insufficient stun from Marine Lord. He cannot continue to repair, but managed to sell some gold, buy some stun here. And Marine Lord somehow surviving. Mana arms raid here in the south of the map. Hyperball doing a really good job at pushing into the opponent's base. Despite having so many keeps in this map, still not so far ahead on the villager count. It's like he retreat for now. It's, it's, it's becoming really hard for him to push into the enemy base. He needs those, all those reinforcements here. I don't know if he's committed to take down that key, but looks like with, with a couple of rams, like it's definitely his intentions here. Looks like the villagers will go down here. Textiles have been researched, so they're gonna be a little bit more tankier.
like he's just trying to find a way here. Uh, there's another keep here. Okay, looks like the game crashed for some reason. But anyway, we're, we're back with the uh, magic of the editing tools. And looks like Papi Pao will try to siege this, this keep. I, I think he's committed to, to take down this one, most likely. He, at this point, he, he, you, you just need to pump units, you know. You just have your resources, you have your olive growth. He already secured some resources here. He doesn't have any keep for himself, so... Definitely need to think about this big guy here uh, and this big guy here. So th those are the resources that matter. At the same time, Kedosifon getting a lot of damage from those Springles. Looks like Springle went down for Papi Pau here. And looks like it's just gonna be the trebuchet. But no sprinkles yet for Papi Pao, so he cannot take down that keep. And he, he cannot throw units to it. Uh, military wise, he looks really good at the moment. It's just a, the Marine Lord is forcing the fights to happen under this keep. And that's why he's having so much advantage for him. And look at that, there are already five sprinkles there. Let's take a look at Marine Lord's vision. He does see it's. The trebuchet that managed to take it down. And now the crossbows just go there to do some DPS and then just go back to the keep just to try to force spawn in Magonel. Emplacements on this outpost are already here, so I'm not gonna be able to push that further. Villager, villager count looking really good for Marine Lord starting to farm transition. Already here. Let's take a look at how many farms he has. 36, not a bad amount. Let's take a look at Papi Pao's farm transition. It's only 16 at the moment. But he's also aging up with a foreign engineering company somewhere in this map. I don't know where, but he is doing it. It is here. Now, no cisterns around here, so uh, you really need what to put a cistern there to, to get that Lambert pumped up. Get those units out really fast. And with that, we're not gonna see the Hui Hui Pao, it's, it's just gonna be the Royal Cannon for him. I thought we were gonna see the Hui Hui Pao. At the same time, he's our academy. It's gonna, it's gonna be the choice for Marine Lord. Gonna get a lot of food per minute, depending on the, how many technologies he have researched. The wolf. Doing Marine Lord's job. Looks like it's the only mercenary he has. Now Marine Lord already on the Imperial Age. Both players researching Royal Shorter Triggers. Uh, the problem is Marine Lord's just gonna take some time here. It's, uh, how, mo how long? Two minutes something? Meanwhile, four Puppy Boys coming in 20 seconds. So he's gonna be the having the Siege superiority for now. Just needs more Sprinkles. Actually, he already have four, so he's in a really good spot. Tower went down. Cannon already there. So we're gonna see. Probably taking this keep down. Five people already securing this gold at the top. No keep. So this this gold being still uh, you know vulnerable to attacks. Cannon doing what they do best. Plenty of a stun for Marine Lord if he wants to repair that key, but looks like he's gonna give it up. So a lot of Springles coming for Papi Pao too. Managed to take down both. All the Springles for Marine Lord go, went down here. And now another Bombard also went out for Papi Pao. Getting those upgrades here, just getting textiles just in case. Cannon, take down that keep. I gotta love how the barracks look like in the Imperial Age. And now another keep here. Marine Lord. 
with a lot of villagers but not enough military numbers and this is why the, Byz the Byzantines are so scary those military numbers work really good for them five sprinkles there for Papi Pao so he's gonna be having a good time protecting his own cannons Orangian guards are already elite no elite aggress there, never mind elite crossbow already here elite man at arms as well looks like Papi Pao is going for it Orangian guards just chasing those villagers chaos all over the place Javelin throwers somehow is still alive after all this time. Now this is complete chaos in in Poppy Post base. Units are all over the place. It's like Marino will get the gold vein in the right. At the same time, a couple of cannons. Not really focusing on those buildings. You can try to take down the town center if you if you want. You can actually go for a contest victory, like with a couple of cannons like this. You're just such in a good spot with all those military units. Looks like a bone of the defender going down, but looks like it's gonna stop for the moment. Cannons be taking down the production of Marine Lord. More and more units rallying here. Marine Guards just gonna be tanking the damage of those crossbows. Javelin throwers have a lot of range armor, so they're gonna be a little bit more tankier than the Man at Arms. Couple of bombards already focusing on the town center. I remember. There is plenty of town centers there for Marine Lord. Granadiers coming. And also a keep. You need more villagers if you want to put that keep here, buddy. Only, only five villagers is like very optimistic. Very optimistic coming from, from his part. Sprinkles is going to be focusing probably on those villagers. And now nests of bees are already here. Two nests of bees actually. It looks like those villagers will go down. The keep won't go up. S still, it's taking some damage here. Gotta make sure the keep doesn't get as much damage. Otherwise, just a dead keep. Yavin yeah, throwers doing God's work here. It's Dealing with all those units. Paranga guards just going directly to the Magonel. They are in Berserker mode. The keep gets cancelled. Actually, that, it didn't get cancelled. It went down. Papi Pao didn't recover the stone from the keep. And this is a huge loss for Papi Pao. And now Marine Lord has a military advantage. Having... Those hand cannoneers, crossbow, man at arms, gonna be his choice. A couple of magonels and one bombard. But it's not gonna be long enough until Papi Pao can start spawning more and more units. You're gonna see more units coming here. Those magonel towers. Perfect to deal with those units. that the foreign engineering company doesn't get affected by the cistern level? Probably not. A oh, Marine Lord doing a push here. Somehow, Marine Lord is still alive. It's like Papi Pao didn't push as hard as he thought he, he was doing. And now, Marine Lord is on the offense now. Skull still uncontested. Not much gold coming from Papi Pao and actually Marine Lord just managed to find those villagers. Nice finding here. Now remember Papi Pao is only on one town center. 
So losing those villagers is a huge loss for him. Five people are going for that boar. He needs that food. It's like his farm transition is not really there yet. It's only 29 farms. He started really well with a early farm transition, but he failed to produce more farms later on in the game. And only having 500 olive oil a minute I, at this point in the game, I don't think it's very good for him. Maratams find the villagers here. Magonel shots. It's the, those man at arms, they don't care about the rocks. They just want to see the world burn. Well, Sacred Side being captured in the middle. Or in or can potentially think about a Sacred Side victory too. Gonna get a nest of bees. Horseman. Only better and horseman. Actually, with that many hand cannoneers and crossbows, you want to get those horsemen out. And now Marine Lord will do a switch to Gassy Raiders, 15 on the queue. Looks like Marine Lord will go for a raid right here on the east. At the same time, Nest of Bees. Oh my god, how many Nest of Bees? Four. Four nests of bees dealing with Marine Lord's army. You gotta be careful not to lose the nest of bees against those gassy raiders. And looks like Papi Paul recover. Even without much economy going on for him, Olive Oil is saving him. Now the gassy raiders, I'm sure they will try to snipe. Those nest of bees. Sprinkle shots. Managed to take down the Magonel. And looks like Marine Lord is back enough. Now Papipo has the momentum again. Those javelin throwers. Those Barangian guards. And all those nests of bees will do wonders for him. While the gold still be. Contested here for Marine Lord. Managed to throw Papi Pao out of that gold. Let's take a look, let's take a look at his vision. He, he has a target here. He knows where to go. This is the place where you need to keep pushing. Nest of Beasts still alive. Springle numbers for Papi Pao not looking really good. Only one of them. And the bomber still alive. Looks like the bomber is taking out those nests of bees little by little. Still a couple of nests of bees out there. I'm not sure where. Is there a tree here? Is another one there? Ah, there you go. Classic nest of bees split. Limitane gets called here. Only better on Limitane. It's gonna get the elite upgrade soon. Gonna get stop those gassy raiders from raiding. Remember, Papi Pop cannot afford to lose many villagers here. He only seen one town center. Every villager life matters here. Let's do a campaign, guys. Let's do a villager life matters. It's like you cannot lose villagers, not when you only have. One TC. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be. Uh, Papi Pao is the only, only villagers' only life matter, and this is a big sign. Only one town center. It looks like elephants may come soon for Marine Lord. At the same time, Limitane going for a raid here, but looks like they will hit the jackpot finding that bombard. Like Marine Lord will react on time. And looks like the bomber may go down. 
Managed to pull villagers to repair it. The bombard goes down. It's a huge loss for Marine Lord. Meanwhile, more units coming for Papi Pau here. It's that, that, that Byzantine pow powerhouse is so scary. That's a big number of Gassi Raiders. This is. This can potentially win. Uh, make Marine Lord win the game. Like, with so many Gassi Raiders here, no one to protect. Like, there's a couple of limit and A there, but. If you manage to kill enough villagers, your opponent will eventually stop. Stop producing units. Otherwise, he will just keep popping units. Especially those villagers that are working on, on the olive groups. At the same time, Nest of Bees here protecting all those infantry numbers. Military numbers for Papi Pao looking really solid at the moment. And that Royal Cannon is just working wonder for him. Nest of Bees just dealing with any kind of unit that. Marine Lord creates. And he he decides to keep pushing here. I already have one bombard. He's gonna have enough olive oil for another bombard soon. It looks like Marine Lord will clean this up. Looks like that bombard will retreat. And Papi Pao back to 82 villagers. At this point, you really want to. You really need a, the stone wall here. Stone wall, palisade walls, any kind of wall. They, they will work just fine. It's like this outpost wasn't fortified, so it's gonna go down really quickly. And a keep. Coming from Papi Pao here to secure that gold vein. Now the good thing about him is that he only needs the olive oil to get the siege. You don't need the wood, you don't need the gold. And that's why the Byzantines is so scary. Stonewall's coming for him at this point. I, I think he, he Marino can still go through here. Oh, it's just gonna be limit and a the classic limit and a mass uh, you don't even have access to wood to actually create limit and a good puppy pot resources only 2.5 resources in total meanwhile marine lord is on 1.3 4.6 almost 5k resources and look if this landmark goes down i don't think papi pa is going to be able to to make a comeback here like marine lord having a really good map control here sacred side being captured at the same time it's like a keep going for papi pa here And looks like the foreign engineering company it's going down Papi Pao will lose access to its most precious landmark it, it will lose access to all this siege and i don't know what that monk is doing there it's definitely not worth pursuing but Papi Pao has 126 military i think he's going on all in yeah, he's bringing everyone, guys. I think he's going. I think he's going for it. I think he's going for it. I mean, while pa Marine Lord, it's on the other side of the base. It's like, hey, buddy, uh, we're not going for you now. We we don't have time. I, I think he's going. You know, pedal to the metal. Just going all in to snipe the landmarks. And let's see if this works for him. Marine Lord knows about this. He's retreating with his army. And first target found Kisar Academy. Second target, Town Center. 
already halfway there. Villagers burning everything down. Trade was gonna start for Marine Lord, but it looks like he will have other things to worry about. Con landmark victory approaching for Papipa. One landmark goes down. Second landmark went down. One more to go. Where is the landmark here? That's the fourth landmark. And Papi Pao managed to make a great comeback with the Byzantines. Say, oh, those who are crazy enough are the ones who are able to change the world.